I would like to speak a little bit about personality and the five-factor model. Personality traits and the five-factor model. Personality traits change over time. Picture a high school reunion, for instance. Your former classmates will display big differences when compared to their high school selves. How do we determine these changes? By observing traits. Trait theories are useful for describing ourselves and others. There are three assumptions made about traits. Traits are based on comparisons of individuals. This is due to the fact that there are no absolute quantitative standards for concepts such as friendliness. Qualities slash behaviors must be distinct enough to avoid confusion. It would be difficult to differentiate between behaviors if they shared things in common. Imagine the confusion if friendliness and aggressiveness shared common behaviors. Traits attributed to a specific person are assumed to be stable characteristics. For example, if a person tends to be generally friendly, we will expect them to be friendly the next time we see them. This leads me to the five-factor model, because I like to speak specifically about the first three dimensions to this model. It was first proposed by psychologists Paul Costa and Robert McRae. It's grounded in cross-sectional, longitudinal, and sequential research. The first three dimensions of this model have been heavily researched by many psychologists. This model shows different dimensions of personalities represented by six facets. The six facets reflect the main characteristics associated with them. The first dimension, neuroticism. The six facets of neuroticism are anxiety, hostility, self-consciousness, depression, impulsiveness, and vulnerability. These facets can contribute to the underlying traits of fear and anger, which often could be associated with people who tend to be nervous, high-strung, tense, worried, or pessimistic. It also includes depression, which can lead to shame and sorrow. The second dimension, extroversion. The six facets to extroversion include warmth, gregariousness, assertiveness, activity, excitement, and positive emotions. This deals with things like warmth and attachment to others, also associated with the desire to be around people. It is the act of being social. These types of people tend to be busy and tend to express themselves very easily. Openness to experience. The six facets include Things like fantasy, vivid imaginations, active dream lives. These people tend to have big appreciation of things like art. They enjoy to be sensible to experiences. They enjoy trying new things and are willing to think positively. Thank you.